what's up guys? Just chilling. You know how it is. Um, just thought I'd do a random first impression for you. Um, just finally made the jump to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1. Um, I could already see they have a new login screen, you know, going with the Windows thing. Oh wow, it jumped to my, um, guess you could say after you log in, my desktop login screen so let's get in there and see what it's like word up all right so we're logging into windows 10 coming at you with it fresh and there's my desktop my uh, normal desktop i don't know if they have the um the other desktop that they had in Windows 8.1, the Metro desktop, or the Metro tiles, but it, I, this is the same desktop I had um, from my other install. I didn't do a, a clean install. I did an upgrade. My Windows 8.1 was fairly clean. I didn't have a whole lot of stuff on it, and I hardly used it, so I just went ahead and did an upgrade, and here we are, Windows 10. Um, first thing I noticed differently is the taskbar. It, it's quite different there. You know, it, all my icons are still there. That's pretty cool, but it looks like it's got a transparent kind of black theme. So that, I, I kind of like what they got going on there. That's kind of cool. Another thing I noticed is there's a search. Um, looks like there's a search box on the panel there. And I imagine this is like, oh wow, okay, weather, you know, this might, uh, oh yeah, I guess it's hooked up, you know, to the web, of course, you can, you can see, so that, that's kind of cool, more integrated, a uh, search panel, um, search box right there on the, the, the panel, that's pretty cool, you know, you got your, uh, different kind of search there, let's get out of that, so, okay, you know, you got, um, you got your time and all that, just like you had in Windows 8.1. Your icons that are in the the corner there. You know your what do they call those system icons? Okay, let's um let's see what goes on with this start button now. Let's see what they did with this. Okay, so we'll click that. Our Windows button start button. I'm not sure what it's called nowadays. I guess you could say Windows button. Okay, so there we go. Pops up with the cool little uh, menu there. Most used, of course. Yandex, my browser. There's other uh, apps and programs. You know, you got your file explorer options, settings. I'm pretty sure that's something. Some settings for this menu maybe lead you to control panel. I don't know. There's your power options. All apps button. Okay, but look at here on the other side. We've got these uh, tiles, almost like a widgets or what is this life at a glance it almost looks like the metro tiles from windows 8.1 no, or windows 8 slash 8.1 it almost looks like what they did was you know that was in windows 8.1 you had this desktop that you could go to right here with your standard icons or you can go are you you were able to go to the other desktop which was the tiles Almost looks like they stuffed the Metro interface inside this uh, Windows slash Start button here. So when you click this, you see a uh, Metro tiles or something. That's pretty cool. Look, they're all there. You got your mail, calendar, Microsoft Edge. I guess that's their new browser. Cortana, weather app. You know, all that, uh, all that good stuff. But yeah, it looks nice to me. I mean. You know, I can't wait to give it a try. Let's see if, if, I don't know if there's a way to get to the Metro interface. I don't think there's one anymore. Let's see if I right click. Okay, if you right click, you got a, you got a couple of uh, options there that you could choose. You know, shut down or sign out. Okay, you could do that. Look, sign out, sleep. What are we at? Hibernate, shut down, restart. You click the desktop. That'll bring you back to this desktop. But, uh, yeah, so far I'm liking it. Just made the jump from Windows 8.1. You know, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to try to use this more. You can see all my icons are there, you know, in the corner. And 
and like I said, I didn't do a a full, I guess you could say, clean install. My uh, 8.1 partition was pretty clean, so I just opted to do the upgrade, the option where you, you can't wait, you know, go ahead and upgrade. I, I figured I would have got the notification, I got the notification, but I didn't get my upgrade right away, so I figured I'd just go ahead and do it myself, and it looks like everything's there. Um, first impression of Windows 10, gotta say I'm liking it, you know, click the little Windows Store app and opens our Windows Store here, oh, that's kind of cool, I like a, you know, little sleek little thing they got going here, I, I never really download apps, you know, I just basically use my computer nowadays for basic stuff, other than my, uh, music making PC, but, um, yeah, I, I, this is going to be cool, I think I'm going to have to start messing around with Windows 10, but there you have it, Windows 10, seems to be pretty nice, I think I'm going to like it, give it a try, it's a free upgrade, so you might as well, word up.